Hello, right, I hope um, before you moved on to this video, you created a play blast of the animation you just created, and I hope it looked super sexy. Uh, but in this one, we're going to set about just tweaking the animation of the camera movement so that it looks a little bit smoother. So, to do that, we need to go back into the graph editor. First of all, make sure you've got camera one selected, and then it's window, animation editor, and graph editor. There it is. So, you might not be able to see everything, it might be zoomed in on some of the lines, so just press A to see everything. And you can see that there are three attributes that are ed edited there. And it's shown as though some aren't changed. There's one here that's unchanged. Um, but we need to just change how these are treated as curves. So at the moment, they're fixed lines. And that's because the tangents, which is up here, they're set to linear um, because we changed the defaults earlier. So we want to change these back so we get in a plateaued effect. To do that, you just make sure your camera is selected and you just go to tangents and then you click on plateau and then everything changes to curves rather than straight lines which smooths the animation out a lot okay so now we can close that and then we'll try playing this again and you can see that the animation starts off much slower and speeds up as it goes on and then towards the end it's going to slow down again so there you go it almost so it comes to a stop. So that now looks much smoother. So when we get on to rendering this, it's going to look even more better. Era. Awesome. Okay, so um, we'll leave that there for now. Um, and then we will look at how we're going to render this out at high quality in the next video. So we're going to do what's called a batch render. Okay.